Today I'm going to teach you how to set up your sewing machine in four easy steps so that you can get started sewing. It may be that you have a machine gathering dust in a cupboard that is just crying out to be used or it could be that you are completely new to sewing and want to get sewing quickly without the hassle of jams and tensions being all wonky. The objective is that in these four easy steps you will be ready to get going sewing. Step one, how to fill your bobbin correctly. It's really important to fill your bobbin correctly. If your tension is incorrect, it can cause a lot of problems when you're trying to start sewing. Let's get going. We're going to take our thread and place it onto our thread spool pin. We're going to take our thread and bring it around between the thread guard tension dial for our bobbin. Make sure your thread is nice and evenly placed between those little plates. We're going to get our thread and put it onto the bobbin. Now on your bobbin you have little holes in the top and the bottom of the bobbin. We want to take our thread and come from the middle of the spool out to the top of the hole, like so. We're going to bring our bobbin over and place it onto our bobbin winding spindle. You'll notice there is a little indentation on our bobbin over here. And this needs to, if we look from the top, needs to be placed onto our spindle. Hold onto your bobbin winding spindle and turn your bobbin until you hear the click. Take our thread and hold it at a 90 degree angle with the bobbin and push your bobbin over onto our bobbin winding stopper, which is this little thing here. This little part is really important as it will stop you from overfilling your bobbin. We're going to disengage our hand wheel by popping it out of the machine and place my foot on the pedal. After a few rotations, we're going to cut the thread off so that it is flush with the edge of the bobbin. Make sure you have no little fluffy bits popping out of this hole. If you do have any fluffy bits, that will stop uh, your, your machine from being able to stitch correctly and give you missed and skip stitches. I'm going to place some more thread onto our bobbin. That'll be fine for the purpose of the video. Then going to cut off the thread and take the thread out of the tension dial, like so. I'm now going to pop my hand wheel back in so that my machine will now drive. Push the bobbin winding spindle to the left and take my bobbin off. Step two. We're now going to load our bobbin into the bottom of the machine. I'm going to take the tabletop off of my machine and open the little door that covers the housing for our bobbin casing. You will notice on your casing there is a little lever, like so. We're going to take the lever and slide the bobbin out, the casing out. I want to make sure that my thread is coming off of my spool in an anti-clockwise direction. Drop it into my bobbin casing and hold onto my bobbin and the casing itself. The thread naturally wants to come around and go into that little slit and down and click. Make sure you listen out for that click. We're now going to turn the bobbin around, holding onto my bobbin and its casing. And you'll notice this little outy bit here. And there's a little inny bit over here. We need to make sure that we are placing our bobbin and casing in line together like so. And then push. You must hear that clicking noise. Don't close the door just yet. We're going to leave our thread ready for step three. Step three. We're now going to go through threading up our main part of the machine. So we place our thread again on our spool pin. And most of your machines will have little indicators with arrows. Just follow those steps. We go round one down. I'm going to turn my hand wheel towards me. Hand wheel's on the side over here. Towards me. Always turn towards you. And make sure you can see this filler over here. He's known as your take-up lever. So we're coming from right to left down one. From right to left 
up two, from right to left into three. So that's our take up lever. It's really important that you remember to thread your take up lever. Um, a lot of jams occur when the thread either pops out the back of this take up lever or is forgotten in the threading process. So as I said in the beginning, it's important that you turn your hand wheel so that this part of the mechanism is shown. Come down to number four. So we come behind this little lever here and then behind your needle thread guide. Okay, you always have a little guide close to this part of the machine. We're going to place our press of foot down and I'm going to make sure my needle is in its highest position by turning my hand wheel. Cut, I roll my fingers towards each other like so and I cut my thread off nice and close and then from the front to the back you push your thread through. I always grab onto my thread to the side Pull it through, making sure that your thread is not wrapping around your needle. We're now going to move on to step four. Step four. Now we're going to draw the top thread, the bobbin thread, up to the top of the machine using our hand wheel to do some rotations. The objective is to turn your hand wheel always in a forwards motion, so towards you. Think about when you're driving a car. If you were to turn your hand wheel away from you, you would stall the machine in the same way that you would stall a car should you forget to put your clutch in gear. So what we're going to do is hold onto our needle thread. And with my right hand, I turn my hand wheel towards me so that my needle does one rotation down. And as it comes up, you will see the machine forming a stitch. So my needle's in the highest position and I lift the thread up. This loop over here is our bobbin thread. So pull that through. You'll now notice there's no more threads here. We close the door again, put the tabletop onto the machine, lift the presser foot. So I have a little lever here, lift the presser foot and place the thread between the gap in the middle of our presser foot and you are ready to sew.